Welcome to the CWNA Super Lab. In this lab, we will cover topics like creating an SSID, configuring DHCP and DNS, encryption tools used to secure your wireless connection like WEP, WPA, PreShared Key, and WPA Enterprise. We'll also look into MAC filtering and how we can hide SSID. Okay, so let's get started. We'll build a topology with a laptop and a wireless router. And we will add one switch. And a server for DHCP and DNS. Let's make the connections. Okay, so we will use 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet. So let's start with the configuration on the server first. Assign a static IP address of 192.168.1.1 and the mask would be 255.255.255.0. So that's done. And for the Wi-Fi, you can go into the GUI or you can configure it from these buttons as well. So from Graphical User Interface, here I can put in 1.2 because 1.1 is our server. We enable DHCP. Start IP address would be, let's start with 10. And DNS, we will put in 192.168.1.1. And now we'll save the settings. Okay, so what we've done up until now is we have configured the 192.168.1.2 on this router, and our server is sitting on 192.168.1.1. Now, Let's configure the uh, SSID. So we go into the graphical user interface of the router, click on wireless, and here you can set the SSID name. So make it how to network. And here you can see SSID broadcast. So if you enable it, the end user will be able to see it and will be able to connect to it. If you disable it, the end user won't be able to see it, so you need to provide the SSID name to the user if the user is not able to find it. So we will enable it at this stage. Let's start with WEP. So here we need to put in 10 hex digits. So let's put in five times A's and ones. And then we save the settings. WP is terribly weak and outdated shared key authentication, and it should not be used unless you know you have some legacy device in your network that doesn't support WPA or WPA2. So let's first connect using WEP. So on the laptop, first you need to switch it off from here. And then you need to drag the wireless module and turn it back on. Now we can go into the uh, Wi-Fi application, which is here, PC Wireless, under the Desktop tab. Okay, here you can see the SSID is visible, How to Network, 
And as you can see, wireless mode is infrastructure. As we are using an access point, we have got a security showing as WEP and a MAC address. So if I click connect, it will ask me for a key, which is five times A and ones. When I hit connect, All right, so it says you are successfully connected to the access point. Click on more information. So it has got an IP address as well, 192.168.1.10. DNS is showing as correct. And the default gateway is the router. So we can check the connectivity end to end. So we can go into the command prompt and ping our server. We can ping the router. So it's all working fine. Now for the DNS, we can use the DNS service here. Turn on DNS server, and then we can put in 192.168.1.1. So this is our server, and this is our access point. So I will just call it an AP, 192.168.1.2, and that's done. So we've got DHCP service here as well, but we have turned it off because we are using the DHCP service configured on the router. Now, if you go to the laptop again, and you can see it's reachable via a DNS name, All right, so next we can do is let's change the security setting because WP is not secure and our laptop can support WPA or WPA2. So go into wireless security, select WPA2 personal, which is more secure. And then we can put in the passphrase one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and save settings. See the connection is lost. Click on laptop again, go to the wireless utility, go to connect and refresh. So here you can see the SSID, how to network, and security is showing as WPA2-PSK. So I hit connect. It asks me for the key. And here you can see it says you have successfully connected to an access point. You can click on more information and you will see the IP address assigned and all the other details. Okay, now let's configure WPA2 Enterprise Security, where we have a username and a password, and we use a RADIUS server. So for the RADIUS server, you can open the server interface, go into AAA configuration. So this is the service we will use for the RADIUS. So we turn the service on, and here, I'll just put in client name as an AP. The client IP is our access point IP, which is 192.168.1.2. And secret we'll use as 1234567.8. And the type is radius. Click add. And then we put in username as admin and password as admin. So the RADIUS server configuration is all done. So we have configured the server. Now just click on the router and go to the wireless security under the wireless tab. Select WPA2 Enterprise. Let's use TKIP. 
The radius server IP is 192.168.1.1. And shared security is 1234.5678. Save the settings. Now let me show you another way to connect to the SSID. So you click on the wireless button. And here you select WPA2 and put in the username and password. Encryption type will be TKIP. And our SSID is how to network. Okay, so the connection is formed now. And we can go into the wireless utility and can check it here as well. So it says connected. See the security method that we are using is WPA2 Enterprise. And we have got an IP address and all other information is available. Okay, now we can also confirm from here. So we have got the, the reachability. Okay, so let's hide the SSID. So go to the router, basic wireless settings under wireless and disable SSID broadcast. Save the settings. Now it's still connected because we have already defined the SSID. So if I go into the wireless utility, click connect, and if I do a refresh, see nothing is appearing, so the SSID is not broadcasted, so you won't be able to see it here. But as you know, the SSID name, so you can go into wireless settings here, and then you can just put in the SSID name here. So the idea behind hiding SSID is that any client station that doesn't know the SSID of the wireless LAN, it will not be able to discover the SSID and therefore will not associate. But if you know the name, you can still associate with it. Okay, let's do MAC filtering now. So let me add another laptop here. First, switch it off and drag the wireless module, turn it on. Okay, let's connect it to the wireless network here. And that's our SSID. Username and password is admin admin and encryption type is TKIP. And it's connected now. So, for example, if you want to use a Mac filter and you want to block access to the network from this laptop. So, basically, what we need is its Mac address. And we can just copy that. So we open the router settings, go to wireless, and under wireless tab, you'll see wireless Mac filter. So we just enable that and then select the prevent PCs listed from accessing the wireless network option. So we would just paste the Mac address here. Just need to put in the full colons and then save the settings. So here you can see this laptop MAC address is not in the filter list. So this is a different MAC address. So it can still access the network. But for this laptop, we put in the MAC address of its wireless adapter into the MAC filter list. So now it's disconnected from the network. See here, it's not connected. If 
If I go into the command prompt and type in ping 192.168.1.2, it's not reachable. So in this lab, we have covered the concepts like creating a SSID, we configured DHCP scope on the wireless router, we configured DNS on the server, we used different encryption tools to secure our wireless connection using WEP, WPA2.preSK, and WPA2 Enterprise. We also looked into Mac 